Hey guys and gals, Wanderer here, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So uh, today we're going to be heading out to Sasau to find out what we can do about this plague that is happening over in Mirho yet and hopefully cure those people. I have suspicions that it is a poison, but I'm not for sure. Uh, this is actually Sampo... Simopesh. Simopesh, okay. Um, I kind of went down here hoping I could kind of cut across the woods down here. Maybe not though. We may end up backtracking out here and going down from there. I guess we'll see what happens. I've not been to Samopesh yet, though. But we're going to try to stay fairly focused on the main story for now. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Uh oh, watch out, everyone. Henry is hungry. It's time to raid the local, local houses for food. Well, crap. I don't know where we're going to get food at. I probably have some food, actually. I could, I could just eat some of the food I have. I guess we'll get some in Sasa whenever we get there. Not gonna pay for food though, man. I'm Henry. I don't pay for food. Um, anybody else? Like, does anybody have just some food in their home I could have, perhaps? Like, like here. Oh, we're, we're trespassing. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for the grub, lady. Mmm, it's tasty. See ya. Henry comes to visit. I just imagine, like, everyone, like, when they say, Henry's come to see us and stuff, like, they're just thinking, like, they're, they're saying it like, Oh, look, Henry's come to see us through, like, clenched teeth, thinking, Oh, God, this, this smug bastard's gonna eat me out of house and home. So, I had a, a comment about someone asking, or c accusing me of pirating this game, which I is bizarre. I don't understand what they're talking about. Something about the pirated codex thing. I don't know if it was a joke or if it was serious or what, but you guys have seen me getting achievements on Steam, so obviously I have paid for the game and it's on Steam and stuff. I mean, I don't know, guys. People accuse me of cheating in, like, Fallout 4. People accuse me of not being on hardcore mode in Subnautica. Haters just gonna freaking hate, man. You know what? If you don't want to watch, if you think I'm cheating, just go away. I don't care. Actually, I'm lying. I do care. Please give me those sweet views. No, seriously, though. Like, I'm playing single-player games for the sake of playing them for fun for myself. There's really no incentive to cheat here. I'm not out to prove anything to anyone. Obviously, I'm not that great at this game. I think, honestly, you know what upset me the most was the fact that it got an upvote. I didn't care about the single comment, but the fact that someone upvoted it was really annoying for some reason. But anyway, whatever. Wow, Sasau is like a proper castle. Holy cow, this is a proper town over here. Wow, that's actually impressive. Like, this is actually really cool. So it's a monastery, huh? That's pretty neat. So, wow. Yeah, big, big area still under construction. Very cool. Was it I wanted? Master Corral, I don't know. What did you want, man? Good day to you. Wow, you look stoned or something. <laughs> ha! Ha! Because there are problems with the stone, get it? Oh my god. I hear there was an accident caused by weak stone. I'd like to have a look around. I can't have someone just nosing around here. But I... Go and see the overseer. He's in charge of everything around here. He's usually in his study above the gatehouse. If he says you can poke around, then I'll leave you be. Look, man, I'm in the charge of uh, Sir Radzig uh, von Kobila and uh, what's his name? Sir um, Div Divish. Yeah, Sir Divish. And I'll have you know they're not happy about this. All right. So I gotta go talk to somebody else about that. This is for the quarry quest or whatever. So is it Just over here? Stuck here with all the cripples. Meanwhile, Thomas and Pavel are probably playing dice up on the battlements. Hey man, at least you got a job. Don't complain. There's lots of unemployed people over in uh, uh what's their town? Ratai. People unemployed over there can't get work. They're starving. All you gotta do is stand here with a spear in your nice armor and you get paid for it. So I don't want to hear any complaints. I always thought like, how much would it suck? Like, so that there's that nose guard in this thing, right? How much would it suck if, if that gets like smashed in and it gets like bent in? And like, not only does it like break your face, but like 
you have the metal like stuck in your face too. It, it'd be awful. It'd be terrible. Holy men, they're holy enough when it suits them, but ask them to give up something of their own and it's another story. They're happy to fill their bellies while people starve outside their walls. They can all go to the devil. Hey, Johanka, how you doing? Johanka? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Not right now. Matthias sent me. Matthias? My god, did something happen? You're like covered in shit, lady. Um, what's going on here, though? What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Uh, what can I do to help? Sure. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Not unless they're made of gold, Johanka. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you liked. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. So she almost slapped one of the monks, and so the guard's there to protect the monks? That's crazy. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. 
but really he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. Okay, a lot of dialogue there with Johanka. So we can go and try and... Uh, oh, here's Brother Nicodemus. Okay. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here. Needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this... I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith, but I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him. But it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka, and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalitz locals in such a state. I know. 
I'm shamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. That's some bullshit, man. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. You're far too excited by this, Brother Nicodemus. Shouldn't you be, like, sad and forlorn and stuff? Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue, so you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics, Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Okay, long conversation there. Gotta go and look at some books. Alright. Um. Where would these books be at then? Alright, let's let's go and help some people, I guess. Everything here is fine. Okay. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly. I'm not needed here. Philip, from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. He's not reacting, but all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask your hunker. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally, I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. 
Sometimes I have to hold the patient down or fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. Oh, so here is, um, here is Quarryman Semek. What are you doing here? Uh, you're not from Scalettes. You're not from Scalettes? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. That's rough, man. No workers come. Sounds like you got that, uh... United States healthcare plan too. How can I help? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. A purple herb, that, I mean, sounds like that would just be, um, sage, right? All right, um, Hans. Hans, my boy. Had some problems, eh? What are you doing here? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the cumins wound you? That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. Okay. These wounds have been well taken care of. So it's just like the guys that are, like, named and stuff. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. He just needs to sleep. Okay, got it. All right, well, um, you're okay. You're okay. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. Probably got an infection. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? Poisoning. Gas poisoning? Nah, it's poisoning. It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not real big on that. I don't think I can help out with that. I didn't expect you could. You surprised me quite enough with your reading. But enough chatter. Time is of the essence. I'll get to work brewing the potion, and then head straight to Merhoyed with your hunker. I expect we'll meet there? That works for me. But can't I help in some way? Best spend the time praying. We can always use God's help. Okay. You say so. So, what are my other quests here? 
for these people here. Just gotta bring some meat here. Get supplies from the custodian. We can uh we can try that. I don't know. Let's go find the custodian. Are you the custodian? No, you're the overseer's hand. Are you the custodian? Zamola. Hey! I'm looking for whoever's in charge here. The construction's led by Master Builder Corel. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's the only one who doesn't look like a laborer. But if you want to talk to the overseer, then he's probably in his study at the top of the stairs in the gatehouse. Okay, top of the stairs in the gatehouse. Who are you, Stone Mason? You've got no business here. You're just in the way. Oh, I see how it is. Traitor? No, just Stone Mason. Other named people here I can't talk to yet. All right, let's go up and talk to this guy, the overseer or whatever. Oh. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role. But I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Hmm, okay. So do they have crappy quality stone? Was that the problem? Brother Porter. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study is right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. No others shall pass. Alright guys, I'm going to have a bit of a look around here and see what I can find. I will probably not record unless I find something interesting, so I'll see you in a little bit. This guy's name is Urban. How's it going, Urban? Oh, he just locked that. Good day to you. You as well, my good man Urban. Uh, who owns this Whose house? house is this? It's our local custodians. The most esteemed Sir Sebastian. Baron von Berg. You don't seem to think very much of him. But of course I do. A man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel can't be all bad. What does the custodian do anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? But in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasau? In such a holy place, filled with knowledge. 
Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me, like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Well now. Hmm. You'd do that for me? Of course. Then I'd be very grateful to you. Um, okay. Well, I'm not sure if I'll do this quest or not. It's a little side quest. I, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to try to focus on the main quest for now, though, so I'm going to look around a little bit. Probably will not show anything unless I find anything super interesting. Just maybe do a bit of thievery and stuff around here, and um, I'll see you later. Well, guys, what can I say? Henry's been stealing again. Um, so, anyway, you know, I've been looking around, uh, looking at these quests and stuff. Where's my torch at? There we go. So, I've been looking around and stealing stuff and you know doing doing what Henry does but uh, I think I'm gonna wait on some of these quests until a little bit later on um, what I actually have to do is oh, okay so they want me to actually go down to here to get better remains okay well what I'm gonna do right now I think is go back to Merhoyed and talk to Brother Nicodemus and because we already set him up here to see how things look and see what we can do over here and get this quest done. So I want to kind of focus on the main quest. I'll be honest, I don't really, I don't really want to solve all these people's problems, like whatever, they're their, their own problems, you know, like. So I think I'm going to go ahead, I can't fast travel because I, I stole too much stuff, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and ride up to Samuel Pesh, spend a night there, and then head towards Merhoyed, and I'll see you in the morning once we're over here. Um, okay guys, so we're over in Merhoyed. I was not able to get an in for night, so I just kind of went over here and Waited. Where is the guy I was supposed to talk to? Brother Nicodemus. Is he over in here? In this house, maybe? I wanted to get an in so I could drop some stuff off, because I really... Um, I'm really over-encumbered right. here. Please end this. Please. No more suffering. Okay, how are things looking here, brother? So, here I am. How are things looking? It's a good thing you're here. We need a helping hand. You can take the cure to the villagers and make sure they take the right dose. I'll take care of Melikar and Straw. You go around the rest of the houses. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Damned peasants. Ignorant yokels. That brigand has to live. He's a crucial witness. I'd be careful with such statements. He's done much harm to the good people here. Oh, whatever, Nicodemus. All right, um, so go and, like, help people out around here, I guess. Is there an inn here that I could stay at to uh, drop off my stuff here? You know what? Can I always transfer it to the horse, I guess? Okay, at least we aren't over encumbered now. All right, so go and give the cure to the villagers. This one's already dead. All right, Badrishka. You're back? Yes, I'm back. Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, Good Samaritan. Okay, there's one. Do I have to do it for all of them? Oh my God, it's gonna take forever. All right, so I cured a lot of people. It still has the indicator I need to cure more people around here, but I'm going to talk to Malakar now and see if he will actually let me go into the prisoner now because I really don't care about these people, as bad as it is to say. Good health to you, sir. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. 
The fucking bastards. Okay, can I see the prisoner now, dude? I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, oh, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Uh, sure. Thank Radzig. Thanks, Sir Radzig. He's the one who decided to help you. Sir Radzig is a goodly lord. I swear I'll never utter another word against him. Now open up that shed. Uh, okay, where's the shed at? It's like over... I didn't visit everyone. Like, I didn't get any quest notification. It's done, but whatever. I think it's good enough. So... I, I just don't care, man. I just want, I want to talk to this damn captive and get on the next part of this quest. I don't know why. Usually I'm, like, all for, um, like, doing all the side quests and stuff, but here I just, I, I really don't care about this quest. And in this game in general, it kind of seems like the side quests really actually don't benefit you that much. I mean, you can do them for, like, role-playing if you want to do them. If you want to be a nice guy, Henry, and, and do that, you can, but... It doesn't actually seem to matter that much whether or not you do them. Like, I don't think it'll have a huge outcome on the end of the story here. Maybe it will. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess we'll see. Okay, I gotta go find this where the hell they're keeping this captive again. I just saw him a second ago, but I've already lost him. I'll see you again once I see him. Is this him? Is this the guy? Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. Oh. oh. Okay, not him. I don't, guys, I don't, I've been looking around for like 15 minutes. I, I swear to God, like, I just saw the guy previously. Like, he there was a guy outside of a building guarding where the captive was. And for whatever reason now, I just cannot find this building again. I don't know what the deal is, why I can't find it, but it's really annoying. This is one of those situations where a quest marker would have been extremely nice. A better quest marker than just, oh, he's somewhere in Merhoyed and we're stuck now. Okay. Got it. Good luck, horse. Good luck. I have a suspicion that the guy that was guarding him is now gone. Like, he's left after I talked to the other guy, after I talked to Melikar. So the guy is now gone. That's why I can't find him. And if that's the case, like, that was my marker for, like, where he was at, and now I just don't know. Which is, like, really piss-poor design. Maybe I'm just a moron. That could be the case, too. You never know. Maybe I'm just a moron, guys. But I'm not seeing this guy anywhere. Oh, th this is him. Yeah, this is the guy. Okay, so I have to just wait. Like, that's all there is to it. I just have to wait. There's... Uh, oh, my God. This is, this is so... This is such bad design. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to get mad, but this is really, really bad quest design right here. Like, it doesn't say... It just said inspect. It doesn't tell you... Unless you go over here, it tells you this is the bandit. Because you can pickpocket him from here. This is the guy. I've been looking everywhere, man. Like, I've been looking everywhere. Trying to figure out where the hell is sat. So the guy that was out here guarding this is now gone. So your marker for this is gone. You don't know where it is. And then when you go over here... It just says inspect, and it doesn't tell you, you know, oh my god, so I had to wait, okay. Would have been nice, I'm just saying, it would have been nice if I would have known that, so what, do I just go and wait for a couple days now? There's no in here, so I guess I have to just go back, oh god, my horse is stuck somewhere. So I guess I have to ride somewhere that has an inn, maybe Samuel Passion is nowhere else, does. maybe Tomberg, Tomberg's about as close. So gotta ride somewhere with um, an inn, stay there for the night, and then we can go back in a couple days and check it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you once we're back there. Oh, as soon as I fast traveled over here, it now I have the objective. Oh, god! I assumed it was gonna take several days. Apparently not. Apparently just like one day. Okay, let's go back. 
I don't know why I'm so aggravated. Sorry, guys. I'm just, like, after the excitement of the last quest, this one is, like, really, really annoying. And now I have to go and find this guy again, which I forget exactly. Was this it over here? I hope this is it. I don't want to have to look around for ten more minutes. Yeah, okay. Welcome back to the land of the living. What? Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da, like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyet, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say... I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind, or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. How did you know about Pribis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Morcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Pribislavitz. Why did you attack Merhoyet? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Pribislavitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groschen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens... I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribis Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. 
It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence, apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. That's all I need to know for now. F for now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. All right, so we gotta go talk to the merchant who- Henry, Oh. I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's- Don't stand in my way, Malikar. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. He's coming with me. He's Sir Radzik's prisoner, and only Sir Radzik has the right to decide if he lives or dies. I don't give a fuck about you or Sir Radzik fucking Kabila. That bastard killed my boy, and I'm gonna kill him. You'll have to deal with me first. Really have to have to fight him? Okay. <laughs> Had it coming, old man. Well, that's what you get, Straw. That's what you get. Off to retire we go. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Uh, okay, go report to Sir Radzig. Um, oh, I'm in the jail. Okay. So I dropped him off of the jail. Okay, game saved. All right. Um, the game just, like, drops you off here. It's a bit confusing, actually. Okay, so go and talk to Sir Radzig at the castle. And he is... Uh, oh, hold on. I have to... Wait. Where do I have to go? In Tom... What? I have to go all the way back up here? Really? Okay, I'm gonna go to Townburg. What? Hold on, what time is it? Alright, I'm gonna travel to Townburg, I guess, and sleep for the night. Hopefully. Like, I really hope there's enough time that I can get there and talk to an innkeeper before uh, the day ends and, like, they won't talk to me anymore because I won't be able to sleep then. But I'm gonna go to Townburg, drop off my extra stuff so it transports back. I guess I could have put it in retire right now, but whatever. Anyway. Sleep for the night, then go talk to Sir Radzig, and then we'll see what he says about the whole situation. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, my objective for Give the Cure to the Sick failed, whatever. I, you know, I gave it to as many as I could. I'm not going to spend, like, 10 million years over there. I should have just done the sleep and save thing. Oh, well, it's fine. We're going to sleep, and then we're going to go and see uh, Sir Radzig in the morning. Okay, next day, we're going to see Sir Radzig. Um, yeah, I'll see you once we get there. Okay, this is a new camp, apparently. And it's just Sir Radzig here. Nobody else. I am actually hungry. Nice of you to make me some breakfast there, Sir Radzig. Nice horse you have here, too. Greetings. What do you need? 
I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look then? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. So, what is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. <sighs> okay, guess some more very small amount of Groshen. I mean, I guess 300 is supposed to be a lot, but, you know, in reality, it's not that much. Um, all right, so we have to go to Ravna and talk to the guy, Menhart, put some pressure on him, find out where it's being made at, and I'm assuming we'll go and do that. But that's going to be on next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Yeah, man.